Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with the Aviator 8927V because uh, this one actually has a camera on it. Uh, this is basically a Latrax alias clone, uh, the first of, of several that I'll be reviewing. Um, this is actually pretty brazenly a clone. I mean, I think the canopy is almost exactly the same, if not exactly the same. Um, but just a few little minor differences. I think they change, you know, kind of angles and shapes and stuff just enough so it's not illegal. Uh, but for the most part, this this one is, you know, of all the clones, the closest looking to the actual alias. Um, they've added these little rubber landing feet, which are pretty nice, and also gives it clearance for the camera. Um, it is a 2 megapixel HD camera, and the lens can be adjusted. Uh, it doesn't go all the way down, but it can get a pretty decent downward angle or straight forward. Um, it does come with a, a USB card reader and a memory card for the camera. Uh, let's see how big is that card. It's just a one gigabyte card. Let's see if I can get that to focus in. Uh, so just one gigabyte, so it's not going to store a whole lot of footage there before you need to, um, you know, clean it up. Uh, it also comes with a USB charging cable, a screwdriver, um, some screws for the optional prop guards, which I think are pretty cool looking myself. They've kind of got this um, neat upward angle to them, just kind of has a cool look to it. Um, and then you'll also notice it's got a couple thumb pads. Um, by default it comes with the thumb pads on, but there are optional sticks in the packaging, so you can just you know, pull them off and put the thumb pads or sticks, whichever you want. Uh, so that's really nice. I like that option. I want to see more of that. You know, give us thumb pads and sticks. Let us pick which is best for us. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Um, and then it also has a spare set of props. Um, however, one of my props, you'll see there, it's got a, a crack through it. This was installed on the quad out of the box. And the box is in good shape, so I don't think it happened in shipping. I think this was done in the factory. It came with a broken prop. I mean, it is it is broke through. You can see on the other side here, the crack. So that prop is unusable. Uh, so right out of the box, I had to uh, replace the prop. I think it's this one here. And then as I was screwing in the replacement screw, it broke off. So you'll see over here, you know, you see that's got the little screw head on it. This one broke off, sheared off. No, like I barely, I was not even putting a lot of pressure into it. I think just, you know, the pressure of getting it to screw through the plastic. So now if this prop breaks again, I've got, I have no idea how to remove that screw. I'm, I am just, I'm screwed. There is no removing this prop now. Uh, so really worried about that. And then you'll also hear that motor is making some weird clicking sounds. These don't. These are silent. This one's clicking. So I think that motor is getting ready to die on me, uh, which may be a good thing in that case, actually. I just get rid of the whole motor and gear system and everything and just replace it all, and then I can screw a prop back on there. Um, but anyway, you know, you get what you pay for, and this thing was pretty cheap, so... Um, and it comes with a 600 milliamp hour battery. Uh, that battery takes about an hour and 20, 20 minutes to charge, hour and 20 minutes. Um, you, for flight times, you're gonna get anywhere from about seven and a half minutes with the prop guards on uh, to about nine and a half minutes uh, with the camera removed. Uh, with the camera on, you get about nine minute flight. So in, in this form, as you probably normally would be flying it, if you get the camera version, you get about nine minute flights. Uh, so pretty good long flights. Um, it has the, you know, the real nice arm LEDs, just like the Alias has, and the bottom is all clear. So pretty much the whole arm lights up. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, what else is there to say? The, um, the camera is 2 megapixel HD and you start it uh, with the left bumper. If you click it, you take a picture. If you press and hold, you start video. 
Um, let's see, clicking the left stick will turn the LEDs on and off, so that's nice that you can turn the LEDs off. Uh, you've got three rates. By clicking the right stick, you change between the three rates. However, there's only one yaw rate, and the yaw rate is slow. I, 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 that is really the crippling factor of this quad. Like, the, the yaw is just too slow to do nice, tight funnels and the kind of sport flying that these quads are made to do. Uh, so that, that alone definitely keeps it from being anywhere near the flyer that the alias is. Uh, it's just, you know, just too slow of a yaw to be sporty. Um, but, you know, it, it is, it's flyable. It doesn't, it's not, it's not horribly slow. It's just not enough to be, to be a great sport flyer. And the fact that it doesn't change with the pitch rates is kind of inexcusable, in my opinion. For a quad like this, they, they need to put more thought into the, the rates and the yaw rate matching the pitch rates, make it change with the rates, no one slow yaw through all, all the rates, that just kind of comes across as lazy. Like the engineers, the designers, just didn't want to put the time or thought into making the yaw rate match the pitch rates, and that really cripples a sport quad. You've got to match those out. Um, but anyway, enough ranting about that. Um, the right bumper is your flip, so hit that and move the right stick and it'll flip and it does pretty nice flips. Um, it is nice and quiet. The gears are pretty quiet. Um, not quite as quiet as the Alias, but um, pretty quiet. Uh, let's see, I guess that is about all I've got to say. Oh wait, no, we can, uh, we can recalibrate the accelerometer by holding both sticks down right. And that'll recalibrate it. You'll see the LEDs blink. Um, so yeah, that is all there is to say about it. Oh, and there's a five second LVC warning. I don't think I mentioned that. So pretty short LVC warning, especially if you're up filming, you only got five second notice before the thing is going to come, you know, without power. It powers down so it'll, it'll land itself, but you don't have much time to get it back to you. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the prop guards on. Uh, these prop guards pretty much ruin the flight characteristics. It, the actually the throttle is kind of the weirdest thing. Like it almost like it has some sort of throttle um, gyro or something. Like it, it's it, I'll hold the throttle still and it's kind of moving around and it's like it, it adjusting the throttle on its own or something. I don't know. It's really bizarre. Uh, so I'll put the prop guards on. We'll take it for a little flight in the kitchen to kind of show you what it flies like with the prop guards on. Uh, we'll turn off the lights so you can get some idea of what night flying would be like. And then I'll go ahead and take it outside without the prop guards. Uh, we'll leave the camera on, but we'll do some more aggressive flying with some onboard flight footage. Uh, so let's go check that all out. All right, this is the indoor flight of the aviator. I'm just going to kind of show off how the prop guards affect the flight, and then we'll turn off the lights and look at the LEDs in the dark. So yeah, oh, see, it, I'm not moving the throttle at all, and it's doing that, like, pulsing. I don't understand what it's doing with the throttle there. It's so hard to maintain elevation with the prop guards on because the throttle just kicks around. See what it's like doing all that weird pulsing. I don't get it. It's really weird. Wow, there it just took off on its own. Man, it is I just don't know what is going on there. So yeah, the prop guards are kind of unusable on this one, unusable. Um, so here we go in the dark. It's uh, definitely, you know, nice visible LEDs. Oh my gosh, so hard to fly with the throttle doing that. But yeah, this is definitely a night flyer. These LEDs are great in the dark, easy to see from pretty much every angle. All right, let's take it down for a landing. And I think that shows off everything there is to show indoors. So now I'll uh, take the prop guards off and we'll take it outside and do a, a little bit nor more normal, uh, fast outdoor flight. So, all right, let's check that out. 
All right, this is the outdoor flight of the aviator. We'll go ahead and give it a spin and do some onboard uh, video footage. Yeah, I got it on high rates. So there's our yaw, pretty slow yaw. This thing's got a little bit of pitch to it. Man, yeah, that yaw is just really slow though. Flips, one in every direction. No diagonal flips for this one like the alias can do. <laughs> Man, that yaw rate is so slow though. That's, that's kind of kind of about as good as I can do for a funnel there. Man, no idea what they were thinking of the yaw rate on these things. Alright, let's uh, start some video. Alright, should be filming now. So look, I mean, it's pretty smooth there. I've got a 5 or 6 mile an hour wind. It's holding a pretty good hover in the wind. Just giving a little bit of stick input into the wind. And it's nice and quiet. This is definitely the uh, quietest of the alias clones. Close to the quietness of the alias itself. Being really nice and smooth and stable in the wind. Get some flips on video. <laughs> All right. Man, if the yaw is just a little bit faster on this thing, it would be pretty close competition for the alias. Obviously not better or anything, but it's a good flying quad, just a little hindered by that yaw rate. Got a bit of a droney going there. Right over my head. <laughs> All right, let's stop the video. Okay. Let's see if it stopped. It's nice and smooth, that's for sure. It's got some decent pitch to it. Just a a little slow on that yaw, right? Yeah, let's park it. There we go. That's the flight review of the Aviator. Pretty cool. Looks uh, the most like the alias of all the alias clones. Pretty much the exact same. Uh, body design and everything, uh, but still not quite the flyer that the alias is, but for the price, this is a pretty good one, and you can even get a camera for it. So, Alright, we'll check the uh, video description for price and purchase links, and uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.